Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm William Hanks. By now you've heard of the Bill Cosby debacles where he totally did a bunch of extremely terrible things and should stop acting like he didn't. But of course, he's not. He totally did those things he's acting like he didn't. Recently, Bill Cosby was put in jail and released on a $1 million bail. He also has an estimated net worth of $400 million, so that's chump change. You don't make that much money without lying a whole bunch. And you will keep lying to make sure you get to live with a bunch of money you lied to get. Well, one of the women who has allegations against Cosby released a rap diss track. Lyrics include, hey Bill, bet you think you're pretty Pretty slick, huh? Making sure you drug this thinking that we will forget you. But we didn't, now everyone knows. You'll keep getting protested and booed at your shows. Damn, is that a world tour or your girls tour? This particular accusation on Cosby won't be prosecuted on in Los Angeles. His legal team stated, Mr. Cosby is doing as well as expected. Later going on to say they expect him to be fully exonerated. They say that even though these are sad times for him, he's still in good spirits. How? You have a diss track out against you, you idiot. They don't have recording studios in hell, so you better hop on it. Last night, President Obama delivered his last State of the Union address. And look how much he's aged. I remember when Obama was first running for president, and to a keen eye, you can see that so much about him has changed. He doesn't speak exactly the same. His facial expressions are different. Being president, and over the span of eight years, he, just like the rest of us, has gone through major changes. Remember when he was running and he was all like, I don't know how I feel about gay marriage. Well, look at him now. It wasn't an easy job. President Obama came into this presidency with the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Unemployment higher than it's been in decades and two wars. It doesn't get much worse than that. He used his speech to explain everything his team has done based with numbers and facts that we have to believe because nobody actually feels like doing the research. You know, when you got graphs and shit, I I'll believe any graph. But my favorite part about the State of the Union is seeing how it blatantly shows how divided the United States of America is. Some Congress folk clap for some things and some Congress folk don't. However, it was very interesting when President Obama was talking about protecting our kids from gun violence. Protecting our kids from gun violence. It must be so hard being a congressman. You're already old as hell. You don't want to be standing up every couple of seconds because somebody said something you agree with. It must be hard. I also really liked how this congressman might want to get a note from Jennifer Lawrence. You can't live tonight. your whole life behind your phone, bro. The president went into so much during his speech, especially the environment and battling cancer. He announced during the speech a national effort to cure the disease, which will be led by Vice President Joe Biden. And of course, the president dropped some solid, mega-confident lines, as he always does, such as, I told you all earlier, all the talk of America's economic decline is all political hot air. Well, so is all the rhetoric you hear about our enemies getting stronger and America getting weaker. The United States of America is the most powerful nation on Earth, period. It's not even close. It's not even close. It's not even close close. Dude, uh, don't be saying all that. Russia might hear you and I'm afraid of them. And he also stated, if you doubt America's commitment or mine to see that justice is done, ask Osama bin Laden. Damn! Even terrorists across seas are like, man, he didn't have to say all that. So what do you guys think about all this? What do you think about Obama's State of the Union address? If you were doing a State of the Union address, what would you say? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm William Hanks. That's right. That's right. Why aren't you standing up, Congressman? Why aren't you standing up? Why aren't you standing up? Stand up. There we go. Thank you. America. My name's Dave and Ross, and welcome to Pictures. Now, I'm glad you're joining me. Hope I didn't bother you. After six months, they finally got him. They got El Chapo.